lucky enough to have Dolly Parton with us all hour. Give it up. Have to be here. No, nope, no, nope, nope. It's the other way around. Um, Dolly's new collections are called A Holly Dolly Christmas Ultimate Deluxe Edition and Diamonds and Rhinestones, the greatest hits collection. Both are available now, so don't be dumb. Go get them wherever you get your music. <laughs> uh, but if you if you know Dolly, you know she's so much more than her music. Um, who was the first person? I don't know. Do, do you thought to believe in you musically in your path? Who was the person that kind of pushed you? My uncle. They gave me my first guitar of my own, a little baby Martin. Yeah. Uh, my Uncle Lewis, uh, mom, another one of my mom's brothers, gave me the guitar. My Uncle Bill taught me to play. And so from the time I was seven years old, I was playing and singing. And my Uncle Bill just saw that I was serious about it yeah. and thought I was pretty good at it. So he would take me around all the local TV shows and things. He also played guitar. And he wrote and sang. Most of my mom's people are very musical. Yeah. And so he's the one that saw it and felt it and believed that in my dream that I wanted to go sing on the Grand Old Opry and yeah. just be in country music. You know. Way to go, Uncle Bill. Uncle Bill. Let's give it up for Uncle Bill. We oh. actually are. In well, every way. we have another person okay. in our audience um, with something that they'd like to share. So where is Aaron at? Hi, oh, Erin. So you're from the same county as Dolly, right? Um, I'm actually from Sevierville, so I grew up in the foothills of the Smokies, just like Dolly. Yeah. Um, and similar to, to both of you, I, I did grow up in poverty. We, we didn't have a whole lot. We moved a lot. My parents worked a lot. Um, neither one of them went to college. So they both really, from a young age, were like, education is the way you're going to get out. Um, I also went to Sevier County High School, um, which is where Dolly went. And I was in the marching band. Very cool. I was very cool. And so was I. I love the marching band. Why do people hate on marching band? They're cool. It's like the part of the football game I enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, what? Um, and I had my band director, who I think you know was Dr. Russell Ramsey. Yeah. We call him Doc. Yeah. And definitely just really pushed me and, and saw my potential at an early age. And was kind of the first person that said, you know, at, music can really be your future and your career. If it's something that you love, then keep doing it. And he was kind of my first champion in that way. And so he actually told me about the Dolly Parton Scholarship. And he said, you know, you've got to apply for this. We'll help you. Um, and there was an essay portion of the application that said, Dolly had a dream. What's yours? Um, and I just kind of wrote about, <laughs> sorry. Oh my God, I'm crying too. Like, what's happening? I know, I, I know what you're about to say, and I'm just like, all of the feels. Okay. <laughs> um, but I wrote that I wanted to be the doc for young, the next generation of musicians, and that I just really appreciated having someone in my life that encouraged me the way he did, excuse me, um, and the way your Uncle Bill did for you as well. So, um, very similar to that. So I applied and I received the Dolly Parton Scholarship and, and that's the reason I was able to. Oh, well, thank you and thank the Lord. <laughs> that's so sweet. Thanks for sharing this stuff. I mean, from when, you, incredible. I know, like, from when you were like a kid until like, seriously, you're going to college, like Dolly Parton's impacting your life. That's amazing. That's well, we've, I've been working with the kids since I, in my early days of show, of show business. I wanted to, wanted to do things back home. So we started, that was one of the first things we did was start the scholarship from yeah. there at the high school. And thanks for sharing that with me. That what means you, a great what deal. What do you do now? Did you go, you went to college, so. Yeah, so I went to the University of Tennessee and got a degree in music education. And now I'm currently working for the Knoxville Symphony Orchestra. I'm their education and community coordinator. Um, and my job really is just to get kids in the area excited about music. So we bring them to the symphony for their first experience with an orchestra, a full orchestra, um, and teach them about music. And then I also coordinate getting those musicians into the schools. They go to their classrooms and, and just get them excited. Oh. So it's just really kind of full circle and um, oh, Aaron, just the impact. Okay. <laughs> like, why? Well, that's wonderful. Uh, I, 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 no, sorry, 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 go ahead. No, that's... No, I'm going to try not to cry. You go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I think too. that's great that you're touching people now also in, in the work that you do, and that's what it's all about is doing things to put people in a position where they can do greater things for, for mankind and for people, just for society. So that's wonderful. I'm just happy that I had a small part. Yeah, you just... Yeah. Thank you. Well, I, we loved your story. It was so magical and felt very dolly. Um, so I have something to share. Um, our sponsor, Netspin, offers prepaid cards and mobile accounts to help people manage their money and build a better financial future. Netspin's mission is to empower people to achieve their financial dreams by providing access to innovative financial services and a wealth of kindness. Netspin loves your passion for music and how you're using that passion to improve your community.
Um, so they're giving the Knoxville Symphony Orchestra $25,000. Yay! Thank you so much. And might I say, I will add another $25,000 to Oh that. my God! Oh, I love that! Well, oh my gosh.